Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here uh, today's video. Uh, let me ask you a question. Do you realize how, actually, how rich the Clampets were? I mean, by today's standards. They're about to. Let's take a look. Beverly Hillbillies was an unlikely premise, but the 1960s sitcom remains a fan favorite. Uh, when we last saw the Clampets on the series in the 1970s, we can't help but wonder what they'd be worth today. The premise of the Beverly Hillbillies is pretty simple. Jed and his family left the monetary struggles behind in Missouri, moved to California after Jed shot a hole in the ground and discovered oil. Fish out of water tail delighted fans for years before the series was canceled. It was a well-known fact that the Clampets were extremely wealthy, but just how rich were they back in the 60s when the series ran? And what would they be worth today? When season one of the Beverly Hillbillies opened, Jed Clampett's fortune was worth $25 million. The series premiered in 62. The show ended in 71. The Clampett's wealth had grown exponentially. Uh, the family was reportedly worth $100 million when then the screens went black. $25 million in 62 is equal to over $200 million in today's money. The $100 million the family closed uh, the series with be equal to about seven hundred and fifty million in today's money. It doesn't take into account the invest uh, the interest paid on investments, real estate holdings, or any additional business profits. So, how wealthy would Jed be today? The accidentally wealthy family didn't just have an oil field in their portfolio; they also owned other property. The Clampett House was costly. The home was a long and storied history in Hollywood, known as the Chartwell Mansion. Uh, the home was built in the 1930s. An engineer commissioned the estate, but according to Gallery, his wife found the house too ostentatious and refused to live there. It was sold to a famous hotel mo mogul before falling into the hands of television executive. According to Realtor, it was sold in 1986 for more than $13 million. The mansion changed hands again in 2019 when Lachlan Murdoch purchased Chartwell Mansion for $150 million demolishing previous sale records. Even the house would be pocket money to Clampets today, says Fortune. After running the numbers and considering the price of crude oil in 2010, the publication theorizes that the Clampets would have, been, would have become billionaires several times over, as long as you don't factor in the direct-to-VHS movie that alleged Jed had lost a family fortune to a crooked banker. Uh, Fortune <laughs> alleged Jed would have been worth about $7.5 billion in 2010 and even more today. That means if Jed Clampett were real, he would be just one of 724 billionaires in the United States. If you account for the TV movie, which most of us do not, Jed headed home to the Ozark Mountains in Missouri with nothing. There you go. Oh, to be Jed Clampett. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Got something out of it. Please don't forget about classic TV uh, facts and trivia and classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. And what do you do? Please subscribe. Thank you. Um, have a great day. God bless. I'll be praying for you.